Thank God I'm fly. fly. When I wake up in the morning, when I wake up in the morning, so when I close my eyes, so when I close my eyes, I'm always on these streets, I'm on these streets, hustle to survive. Thank God I'm fly. When I wake up in the morning, when I wake up in the morning, so when I close my eyes, so when I close my eyes, I'm always on these streets, I'm on these streets, hustle to survive. Thank God I'm fly. I won't give up. 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 What up, though? It's your boy DTM Deontay the Motivator, man. What's good, man? Listen, I hope you're having an amazing new year thus far. I hope everybody has um, made the challenge to actually challenge they sell in this 21 day challenge um i would love to hear how it's going i hope everybody's really participating and going in to make sure that you start your year off correct to make sure that you start your year off um advance you know what i'm saying because the fact that january 1st hit it only means that the number of the year changed but the results in the year will not change if you do not change. Like you have to make a change. You have to be willing to um, assess where you went wrong in 2017 and agree that whatever you went wrong, you'll leave that back there and you'll start fresh right now. You can start fresh right now in 2018 and make sure you get off on the right foot and not play catch up in the year just because you may be playing catch up in life. You understand what I'm saying? Don't don't just take it day by day, year by year until you get to where you're trying to be. So I just want to get into this really quick because I heard this phrase before and I heard it again and again and again. And I feel like um, we need to really address it. So I heard a leader say that and you hear it on music all the time with the rappers and everything like that. But I hear him say it's lonely at the top, baby. It's lonely at the top. That's what they tell you. It's lonely at the top, baby. And what that tells me is that if you feel like it's lonely at the top, the reason being is because you're not a leader. Because a leader would never say it's lonely at the top because they won't be there alone. Because if you're a leader and you get to the top and you're alone, who are you leading? You just clam to the top. Now, leaders are the ones that's going to bring people with them. You might go to the top, figure out how you're supposed to do it, go back down, grab whoever you got to grab, take them back up, come back. Now, that's what you do. That's the difference. Like, so if people who say it's lonely at the top live a travel agent life, they're telling you how it is, but they've never really been there. They've never really done it. They're telling you what a leader should do, but they're not telling you what a leader should do from a first, um, first-hand point. So I need you to make sure that you're not one of the ones that's saying it's lonely at the top because it's not lonely at the top if you are a leader. And I'm not sure, I'm not 100% sure, but I think I'm 100% sure that you are a leader. I can tell, it's, it's, it's something about you that says leadership all over it. But sometimes you won't tap into it. You gotta tap into your leadership skill and your leadership quality. Now, let's talk about leadership just a little bit because sometimes people who feel like they are leading feel like they can't follow. Where in fact, it's, all, it's the opposite. Good leader are good followers, right? So I may not be able to lead you in every single area. So therefore I have to know how to follow in the areas where I may not be strong enough to lead you. So that way I can become strong enough to lead someone else who is not as strong as me. That's the beauty of leadership. Knowing where you're good at, what's your strong point, and who to go get and how to take them to where they need to be. You have to understand that. Nobody else can tell you that. You have to understand that. Now, you will, you will see a lot of individuals try to put you in a leadership position that may not fit you, but it's good for them. You have to be careful about that because that will they essentially break you down and, and tear you up because um, life is about small wins. You have to gather up your small wins to build up the confidence to continue to do what it is you need to do. And if you're in an area where you're not strong, 
you're not going to get strong wind. You're not going to get the small wind that you need. Boom. Confidence is shattered. But you have to focus on the small wind in the area where you're supposed to be at. But you have to know that for yourself. A lot of individuals ask me where should they be, and I tell them where should you be. Right? I, I hit them back with the same question. Where should you be? Because I can't tell you that. That's something you have to know. But what I can do is I can help you structure yourself around where you're supposed to be. And I can help you push yourself over that hump or that hill that you think that's sitting there to, to stop you. Where in fact it's really there to make you strong. I can help you get over that. That's automatic. But you have to understand that leaders understand that it's not lonely at the top. In fact, we can make it crowded. The better the leader, the more crowded it is at the top. The better the leader, the bigger the crowd. The better the leader, the more crowded it is at the top. That's what I want you to get into your system. Get into your spirit. It's 2018. We're taking this off. In 2017, there were some things in 2017 we did not like. There were some things that we did in 2017 that would not push us to any kind of level that we're trying to be on. So therefore, we left that in 2017. We left it in 2017. In 2018, we focused on you being a leader, you being better than you was uh, last year and yesterday. You being better than you was prior to lo looking at this video. It's up to you though. You have to make that change, that sacrifice, that decision. Once you make that decision, then will the rest follow because everything starts in the head. Everything starts in the head. Leaders understand that. That's why we focus on attacking the mind. The enemy understand that. That's why they focus on attacking the mind. Because they know that they can break your mind down, then they can break your grind down. But if I can build your gr your mind up, we can build your grind up because it all starts in the head. Whatever you think you can do, you can do. Whatever you think you can't do, you can't do. It's just that simple. But you have to be willing to put the work in. That's the thing. That's the trick. That's the trade. You have to be willing to put the work in. And I want you to understand that there's no one better to do it than you there's no time better to do it than now this is the beginning of the year this is the best time it's like a new beginning this is the best time to be able to measure your progress because it's january 1 all the way down to december like you can measure your progress it's easy you can do it regardless. but this is the best time so why not start it now if not now when if not who if not you who you know what i'm saying like i i really understand and I really feel that you can be the best you you can be in 2018. I feel like you can take your, your whole life into a whole nother level. And it starts with the 21 day challenge. Because here's the reason why I started the 21 day challenge on January 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th. Whenever you want to start it, just start it like now. Start it now. And the reason being is because the studies show that you don't go past um, January 17th for those who make uh, New Year's resolution. January 17th is usually like the cutoff date. So if we do a 21 day challenge, we know it takes 21 days to create a habit. We know it takes 21 days to break a habit. So if you can surpass that 17 days and push it to 21 days by doing something consecutively each day, consistent, you will take yourself to a whole nother level. You will surpass the, 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 cut, the cutoff date. You will create new habits, you will break old habits, you will start 2018 the way it's supposed to be started, on top, in the lead, with a head start. That's what we have. Hey, I'm going to the motivator. I'm going to get with y'all another day. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you enjoy your 21 day challenge, man. Send me this, the, the, the email right here. Click on my email. Right here. See it? See it? See it? That's the email right there. Shoot me something, man. Let me know how it's going. Let me know how you're, you're... Because what we need is accountability. Accountability is what we need. Accountability. And I am that accountability partner. DTM family have a whole... We got a whole family that's willing to be an accountability partner for you. And we're growing daily because people see that we're moving daily. We're progressing daily. So... Hey, man. Peace. Two of them. Boom. 21 days. 
GTM. Let's go.